Hello, this is Martimba Graphics with another quick tutorial. This video is all about creating these click on effects that you can see on your screen right now. These are particularly popular with subscribe slash follow overlays. So as you can see, uh, that finger is sort of bending and making that click. That's exactly what we will be creating in this video. All right, so I went ahead and prepared the wiggly belly animation. So this will be, we'll be using this as something that we will be clicking on. So as you can see, the bell is like wiggling. And in case if you're interested on how to create this wiggly bell, step by step, uh, I've recorded a tutorial on my channel. So I'll leave a link in the description. So go check it out. Uh, for now, uh, as you can see, that uh, we have a marker here, so exactly one second mark, our bell starts wiggling and animating. So let's go ahead and create uh, a click on effect that will go along with this uh, bell icon animation. So uh, first, let's create a new composition. Let's call it uh, click 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second, and click OK. All right, let me just bring back that bell. Okay, let's just decrease the size like so. All right, so we need something, some like a hand or a cursor or something that you want to animate, something that will be making a click. So if you Google something like YouTube hand PNG, uh, you know, these are the ones that come up so you can use any hand you like and in for the sake of this tutorial i'll be using this hand png right here so drag your P hand or whatever png to the new composition icon this will create a new composition based on the dimensions of your png file so then go back to your main composition so in this case the click composition and drag the newly created hand composition or in the project here to the timeline on top of your bell icon of course it's like if you need to be resized click s for scale and decrease the size let's put 30 okay this is good enough so let's assume that you've already animated the position of this hand and it's uh, like positioned on top of the bell and this is where we want to make the click happen as you remember, at one second mark, our bell starts animating. So move to one second mark. And actually, let's move uh, five frames back from here. So one, two, three, four, five. And now select the hand tool or the hand composition. Zoom in nicely and select this puppet position pin tool. Click on it and just create four points like shown. One, two, three and four all right so then click u to reveal all the keyframes and you know puppet find the puppet pin one so this will be the one the first one that you put so from here move five frames forward on or to you know one second mark so uh, and drag the puppet pin number one ever so slightly so it sort of looks like it's making a click like so and then move five frames forward from here. So one, two, three, four, five. And select the first keyframe that we've created five frames before, you know, one second mark. So select it, click Control C, Control V to paste it. And if we preview this right now, you see that we've already created a click animation here. And in order to make this animation better and more snappy, and so it looks more like a click, select all the keyframes and press F9 and open the graph editor, zoom in a bit, select all the keyframes here and drag this handle to all the way to the left and this handle all the way to the right. So you have these shapes on the graph, exit the graph editor. And if we preview this right now, and actually zoom out a bit so if we preview these you'll see that our animation is done and ready it's like very snappy and making a click and everything's uh, nice yeah so this is pretty much it and there is really no much more to this 
So in case if you want to make multiple clicks, so let's say like one click on like subscribe button and then a second click, like a second after on the bell icon. So it's very easy to duplicate, duplicate. So go to two seconds mark. Okay, just pretend we're clicking something else, all right? Uh, so select all the keyframes for, you know, puppet pin number one. So for these ones that we've created and control C, control V to paste them. And at two second mark, you know, our finger will just make another click. So that's how easy it is. So one click, you know, second click. Yes, that's how easy it is. So. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a like on this video and tell me what you think in comments down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more you know, tutorials like this. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.